Daniela. Hello back again on the Top Recap channel. This time, I will tell a movies entitled, Extremo. Let's get straight into the storyline. The story begins by showing the meeting of a gangster named Lucero with Romeo. But before I continue, I will explain some of the characters to make it easier to understand the storyline. This man is Ricardo, a respected gangster leader in Barcelona. He has a son named Lucero, who has just returned from Japan. Ricardo also has an adopted daughter named Maria, who is his personal assistant. Besides that, Ricardo also has a hitman named Maximo, who is considered like his own son. Max intends to quit the gang and leave the criminal world that has raised his name. That night was his last job, where he accompanied Lucero, who was meeting with a Colombian gangster leader named Romeo. The meeting aims to ask Romeo for votes in favor of Ricardo becoming president of the Conclave. Therefore, Romeo warmly welcomed Lucero while Max waited outside the room. <laughs> while Ricardo and Maria are still on their way to the place, it is known that Romeo will support Ricardo as president of the Conclave as long as his son is appointed treasurer in the Conclave organization. Lucero then gave them a bag of money as a form of cooperation. But when Romeo opened the bag, he found the head of his son, who had been killed by Lucero. The situation turned into chaos, shooting each other between them. Meanwhile, Max, unaware of Lucero's plan, was forced to get involved in the battle. After killing all of Romeo's troops, the two of them then entered Romeo's drug factory. Lucero then killed all the workers in the place. Max then realized that Lucero's actions had gone too far and told Lucero that this was not what they had come for. But Lucero then argued that he had to do it because Romeo tried to shoot and attack him first. After all their business was done, Lucero told Max to go home, indicating that he was officially out of the gang. Long story short, Max went back to his house. His son was already there getting ready because they would move out of the place soon. Meanwhile, his nanny is seen giving Max's house keys to someone waiting in the car. Back to Ricardo, who has arrived at the meeting place. He was furious with Lucero's stupid actions. Here is the reason why Ricardo sent his son to Japan. It was intended that this dissident Lucero would understand the meaning of loyalty and self-control in action. Still, in fact, the Japanese Yakuza turned Lucero into the most ruthless murderous monster. Assisted by his right hand named Chul Mu, Lucero then killed his father's troops. Luckily Maria managed to escape from that place. And it is also known that Lucero has long had the ambition to replace his father's position. Lucero was very angry with Ricardo for throwing him into Japan. Instead, he cared more about Max than him, who was his biological son. Lucero then killed Ricardo. <laughs> Meanwhile, a group of people attacked Max's house, and quickly, Max managed to defeat all his opponents. But Max did not expect that there was a man who shot him from behind. The man's name was Finito. Max asked Finito not to kill his son Ander, but Finito ignored him and immediately shot Ander right in front of Max. After paralyzing Max to helplessness, Finito then rushed out and reported the incident to Lucero, who turned out to be the one who ordered the killing of Max and his son. Finito even blew up Max's house to eliminate all the evidence. The scene moves to two years after the incident. A young man named Leo is seen approaching his girlfriend, Daniela. Leo is a drug dealer on the campus where he studies in the surrounding area. When the lovers pass an old garage that has long been abandoned, there they both see Max, who is still alive and is training his physique and practicing martial arts. That night, Leo went home and gave the money from drug sales to his mother, who did not know Leo's job as a drug dealer. Leo then gave a gift to his beloved younger brother for his birthday. Not long after, Leo received a call from his supplier who was a man named Jaro. Jaro asked Leo to sell drugs in the Russian gangster area. Leo immediately refused because the Russians would be angry if Leo sold drugs in his territory. Still, Jaro continued to force him, so Leo had no choice but to obey. Arriving at the place, Leo sold several packs of drugs before his actions were discovered by the Russians. The Russians then arrested Leo and beat him up. Fortunately, Max passed by then and decided to help Leo. Max immediately beat all the Russian gangsters mercilessly. 
Leo, who saw Max's greatness, was amazed and immediately chased Max, who went into the old garage. Leo also thanked Max for helping him. Max then treated the wound on Leo's face. Leo, who saw a guitar, then guessed that Max could play the guitar. But Max replied that the guitar belonged to his late son. Talking about his son made Max remember the terrible incident two years ago when Ander was killed in front of his eyes. After the incident, Max is determined to avenge, but his stepbrother suddenly disappears, making it difficult for him to take revenge. The next day, Leo returned to the garage to see Max. Leo apparently came to ask Max to teach him martial arts, and in return, Leo would teach Max how to play the guitar. Max agreed to Leo's request and immediately taught him basic martial arts techniques. Before leaving, Leo had written his phone number on a piece of paper so that Max could call him any time. Elsewhere, Lucero was seen gambling with his business partner. After that, he called Rafa and told him he planned to return to Barcelona as soon as possible. It turns out that Lucero intends to take over the leadership of the Mafia, which is now run by Dimitri, a Russian criminal businessman. Meanwhile, while Leo is at his college, Yaro calls him and asks him to return to selling drugs in the Russian gangster territory. But Leo refused and immediately hung up the phone. Yaro seemed annoyed that Leo refused his orders and even dared to hang up on him. That night, Leo, walking down the street, accidentally met Jaro and his men. Seeing Jaro's presence, Leo hurried to get away from there. But Jaro and his men managed to catch Leo and beat him badly. Jaro apparently found out that Leo had stolen money from drug sales, so Jaro crushed Leo's hand. The next day, Max was surprised by Daniela's arrival, who was looking for Leo's whereabouts. Daniela then told Max that Leo had stolen money from drug sales, and there was a possibility that Yaro found out and tortured Leo as punishment. After hearing the news, Max sends Leo a message and asks him to meet with him. Max and Leo met at the church. Leo told him everything, where he stole the drug sales money until he was beaten by Yaro. Max, who had heard all the explanations from Yaro, then asked Maria to come and help Leo. But Maria reminded Max about their plans in the upcoming Mafia leader election. They are already planning to attack Lucero at the Conclave. Hola. In the evening, Jaro and his men are seen entering a nightclub owned by a Russian gangster. It turns out that Max follows Jaro and enters there to avenge what Jaro has done to Leo. One of them seems to recognize Max and decides to run away. After defeating all of Jaro's men, Max crushed Jaro's hand like he did to Leo. After that, Max went to Maria's house to check Leo's condition. During the meeting, Max invited Maria to spar in martial arts. In the sparring, Maria reminded Max about their plan to destroy Lucero in the conclave. Meanwhile, Finito comes to Jaro's place and laughs at him for seeing Jaro beaten to a pulp. Jaro then tells Finito that the man who attacked him was a man by the name of Maximo. Maximo? Eso, Maximo. Hearing this name, Finito immediately realized that the man who beat Jaro and his men was Max, who was still alive. So that this information does not leak, Finito kills Jaro and asks his men about Max and Leo's location. Meanwhile, Leo, who feels he has recovered, decides to return to his house, ignoring the warnings from Maria and Max. They had warned that Leo might be targeted by Jaro's gang. Worried, Max then drove Leo to his house. But how shocked Leo was when he found out that his younger brother and parents had died covered in blood. It turns out that Finito and his men were there first and killed all of Leo's family members. And just as they were about to kill Leo, Max rushed in and saved him. Max got into a fierce fight with Finito and his men. Max, who was caught in Finito's chokehold, managed to escape because of the help of Leo, who shot at Finito. Finito also managed to escape from that place. Max immediately took Leo to Maria's house. While Maria was treating his wound, Max said that Finito now knew that he was alive, which made Maria angry because it would interfere with their revenge plan. Maria then went to Leo who was crying in frustration and blaming himself for the death of his family. Maria then tried to calm him down, but Leo seemed so devastated that he locked himself in his room. When Max returned to the garage, Maria called out and warned him about the imminent attack by Finito's troops. Zero. Not long after, Finito's troops arrived at the place. Max prepared to face Finito's men using his fighting skills and experience as a hitman. Ah! 
After defeating all of Finito's troops, Maria gave Max information about a man named Urquiza, who was in charge of organizing Lucero's money laundering activities at a nightclub. Arriving at the place, Max was stopped by the guards because the nightclub was closed, but Max ignored the warning and immediately killed the guards. Max entered the nightclub and killed all of Urquiza's men. Maria also told Max that all the cash Urquiza had kept would be handed over to Lucero before the conclave began, and that the guard who would bring the money would arrive in 20 minutes. Max immediately killed the guard and took all the money Urquiza had. Urquiza tries to escape while Max is fighting his men, but Max catches up and beats him. Max then left Urquiza a message and a cell phone for Lucero. <laughs> Rafa was then seen coming to see Urquiza and was shocked to see what happened at his nightclub. Urquiza told him everything and also about the message from Max. Meanwhile, Maria is treating Max, who was shot while fighting Urquiza's troops. Meanwhile, Lucero finally arrived in Barcelona and asked Rafa to take him to meet with Urquiza. <laughs> Because he didn't get the information he wanted, Lucero then brutally killed Urquiza. Meanwhile, Leo, who knows Finito's whereabouts through a tracking device connected to Maria's computer, secretly takes a gun while Maria is asleep and rushes to Finito's place to take revenge. Arriving there, Leo then pointed a gun at the two men who were about to dispose of Urquiza's body. But then Finito came and immediately beat Leo to a pulp. <laughs> Chul Mu, who was also there, was very surprised when Leo said that Max would come and take revenge on them. Chul Mu thought that Max had died two years ago when he was killed by Finito, and when Finito was about to kill Leo, suddenly Maria came and immediately crashed Finito. Maria, who saw Leo, was severely injured and immediately rushed Leo to the hospital. On the way, Maria tried to call Max, but he was still unconscious. Unbeknownst to Maria, one of Finito's men followed her to the hospital and told Finito about her whereabouts. Lucero, who discovers that Max is still alive, becomes very angry. He ordered Finito to fix the problem immediately. Meanwhile, Chul Mu, who already knows the location of Max's hideout, is seen visiting the place and is greeted by Max, who is already conscious. Chul Mu tells Max that he thinks Max should be the leader to replace his father. But because Max decided to leave the criminal world and start a new life with his son, Chul Mu chose to devote himself to Lucero. Max and Chul Mu then engage in a fierce battle as both are martial arts experts. Max then asks Chul Mu where Lucero is, but because Chul Mu doesn't want to say it, Max kills Chul Mu. After that, Max went to the hospital to check Leo's condition. After seeing Leo's condition, who was currently in a coma, Max immediately went to Lucero's place. Arriving there, Max immediately kills Lucero's men, one by one, until Rafa was left alone. Rafa, who still remembered all their friendships, finally let Max go to see Lucero. But suddenly, one of Lucero's surviving men threw a grenade at Max and Rafa. Max managed to survive, but Rafa had to die from the grenade explosion. In short, Max was finally reunited with his half-brother, Lucero. Lucero said that the reason he did all this was because their father loved Max and Maria, who were adopted children, more than he did his own biological children. Max doesn't mind because all he wants now is reaving for his son's death. Max and Lucero then duelled fiercely. When Max defeated Lucero, Finito suddenly appeared while holding Maria hostage. Because Max's attention was distracted, Lucero could finally turn the situation around and beat Max to a pulp. Seeing this, Maria tried to fight Finito until they both fell and became unconscious. Lucero then ordered Finito to finish off Max while he would kill Maria. Max was severely beaten by Finito, and when Lucero was about to burn Maria, Max immediately got up against Finito and killed him with one deadly blow. At the same time, Maria finally got up and managed to escape from Lucero. Lucero now had to face Max and Maria's attacks simultaneously. <laughs> In the end, they both managed to kill Lucero. After their revenge is avenged, they then leave the place. At the movie's end, they will travel to a place to start a new life with all the money stolen from Lucero. Before leaving, Leo gives Daniela a parting gift, a big suitcase full of money. And the movie is over. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment.